What up, as well, Mr. Downtown Ray Mall? You're listening to the Entertainer Report on iHeartRadio, live from Orlando for Wednesday, March 20th, 2024, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainer Report with Ray Mo, that's R E Y M E L O, on Twitter at the Enter Report, or on Instagram at the Entertainer Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainer Report, and I'll take you to the page. Brian Cox has joined the cast of the animated holiday film That Christmas. Deadline report Wednesday that Cox, the actor known for playing Logan Roy on Succession, will voice Santa Claus in the upcoming movie. Fiona Shaw, Jodie Whittaker, and Billy Nye will also have roles. Variety confirmed the casting. That Christmas is based on the children's book series by Richard Curtis. The film is written by Curtis and directed by Simon Otto, the animator who worked on the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy. Curtis said in a statement, This has been the most amazing adventure, my first animated film. It's been especially exciting to see the whole world I imagine come to life beyond my wildest dreams. And populated by a dream of a bunch of actors, their wonderful voices turn into such rich and funny characters. That Christmas follows the residents of a charming seaside town where things turn upside down one Christmas. Shaw voices Miss Trapper with Whitaker as Mrs. Williams and Nye as Bill. The cast also includes Lolly Adipope, Alex McQueen, Catherine pa- Parkinson, Shindu V, India Brown, Zazie Hayhurst, Sienna Sayer, Jank Wiskineski, Rose Calvario, and Paul Kay. That Christmas will premiere on Netflix later this year. The ever-ending story reboot is moving forward at Seesaw Films. The Hollywood Reporter said Wednesday that Seesaw, which produced the Oscar-winning films The King's Speech and Power of the Dog, have signed a mm-hmm. deal to adapt the Michael Endy movie. Deadline confirmed that Seesaw secured the rights to the never-ending story from Indus executor Wolf Dieter von Grono. The new live-action film series will be uh, developed and produced by Seesaw and Michael Endy Productions. An ever-ending story was first published in Germany in 1979. The book follows Bastian Balthazar Bucks, a young boy who comes across an old book, and it discovers the magical land of Fantastica. Endy's novel was previously adapted as the 1984 film The Never-Ending Story, directed and co-written by Wolfgang Peterson. The movie was followed by two sequels, The Next Chapter, 1990, and Escape to Fantasia, 1994. Seesaw's Ian Canning and Emil Sherman and Michael Endy's Productions' Roman Hawk and Ralph Glassman will produce a new adaptation. Um, the official synopsis reads, uh, The never-ending story is a beloved book that has captured the imagination of generations of fans all over the world. Bring literary worlds to screen as part of Seesaw's DNA, and we are passionate about cinematic storytelling and entertaining audiences. We have such love for the book and are honored to be working with Michael Endy's production on this collaboration to bring audiences back to to Fantastica. So, Ninth Century Studios is giving a glimpse of the new film Alien Romanus. The studio shared a teaser trailer for the movie Wednesday featuring Callie Spaney. Alien Romanus is a reboot of the Alien sci-fi horror franchise. The standalone film takes place between Alien 1979, directed by Ridley Scott, and Aliens 1986, directed by James Cameron. The official description reads, While scavenging the deep ends of a derelict space station, a group of young space colonizers come to -to face-to-face with the most terrifying form in the universe. The, te- the teaser showed Spaney's character and other crew members being terrorized by face huggers and other alien life forms. Isabella Merced, David Johnson, Archie Renell, Spike Fern, and Aileen Wu also star. Alien Romanus is directed and co written by Fede Alvarez, who directed and co wrote the Evil Dead reboot in 2013. Scott, the producer on the new film, and Cameron have voiced their approval of Alvarez's reboot, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Alien Romanus opens in theaters August 16th. HBO is gearing up for the release of House of the Dragons, 
Season 2. The network shared posters for the season Wednesday featuring Emma Darcy, Matt Smith, Eve Bess, and Steve Toussaint. The first trailer will be released Thursday. House of the Dragons is based on the George R. R. Martin book Fire and Blood. The show takes place in the world of Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire book series, which was previously adapted as the HBO series Game of Thrones. House of the Dragon is set about 200 years before the events of Game of Thrones and centers on the House Targaryen. The poster depicts Team Black, or Queen Rathania Targaryen, played by Darcy, her husband Damien Targaryen, played by Smith, her aunt Rhaenys Targaryen, played by Bess, and Rhaenys' husband Corlys Velaryon, Toussaint. Um, all must choose. The tagline reads, referencing the war between succession, between Team Green and Team Black, or Queen Allison, played by Olivia Cook versus Renaria. Another set of posters features Team Green, showing Allison, played by Cook, her sons Prince Amon Targaryen, played by Ewan Mitchell, and King Aegon II Targaryen, played by Tom Glyn Carney, and Sir Criston Colt, played by Fabian Frankel. House of the Dragon Season 2 will premiere in early summer. The Hedge Knight, another spinoff and prequel in the Game of Thrones universe, is coming to HBO in 2025. FX is giving a glimpse of American Horror Story Delicate Part 2. The network shared a trailer for the new episodes Wednesday featuring an introduction by series star Kim Kardashian. Delicate follows Anna, played by Emma Roberts, a rising actress struggling to conceive a child with her husband Dex, played by Max Zerke. Anna learns she's in danger from a satanic cult. In the Part 2 trailer, Anna's publicist, Shaban, played by Kardashian, promises to give the star the life of her dreams, at a cost. The pair are seen kissing, sharing a kiss after Anna vows to give up anything. Shoban is later seen slapping Anna after the actress suggests quitting. Shoban torments Anna, leading Anna to call her a monster. Shoban responds, Oh no, babe, I am so much worse. Delicate Part 2 premieres April 3rd on FX and will stream on Hulu. Anna Bell, Dexter Johnson, Michaela J. Rodriguez, Dennis O'Hare, and Cara Delevige also star. American Horror Story is an anthology horror series created by Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchok. Delicate is the show's 12th season. Netflix is introducing a new show, Dead Boy Detectives. The streaming service shared first-look photos for the comedy drama series Wednesday. Dead Boy Detectives is based on the DC Comics character created by Neil Gaiman and Matt Wagner. The series is part of the Sandman universe created by Gaiman. Uh, George Rextru and Jane Reverie star as Edwin Payne and Charles Rowland, two ghostly teen detectives who investigate paranormal occurrences and other supernatural cases. According to Netflix Tadam, Edwin and Charles's investigation takes them on some spooky quests from run-ins with evil witches to fights with bloody monsters. Cassius Nelson and Yuyu Kitamura also star as Clara Von Crystal and her friend Nico. Other cast members include Jen Lin, Brianna Cuco, Lucas Gage, David Icono, and Ruth Connell. Dead Boy Detectives is executive produced by Greg Berlanti, Jeremy Carver, and Sarah Scherster, with Stephen Yaki and Beth Schwartz as showrunners. Yaki and Schwartz recently told UPI that Gaiman contributed to two episodes in particular. Dead Boy Detectives premieres April 25th on Netflix. Netflix is giving a glimpse of Bridgerton Season 3. The streaming service shared a clip of the season Wednesday featuring Jonathan Bailey and Shimon Ashley. Bridgerton is based on the Julia Quinn book series. The show follows the Bridgertons, a family of eight siblings living in Regency-era London. Season 1 focused on Daphne Bridgerton, played by Phoebe Denver, while Season 2 shines a spotlight on Anthony Bridgerton, played by Bailey. Season 3 will highlight Colin Bridgerton, played by Luke Newton, and Penelope Featherington, played by Nicola Coughlin. The new clip opens with Francesca Bridgerton, played by Hannah Dodd, asking Anthony for a moment alone at a ball. Anthony then approaches his wife, Kate, played by Simone Ashley, and the newlyweds share a dance. A log line reads, As one can see, life after marriage has not dimmed the flames that burn between these two in the slightest. Bridgerton Season 3 will be split into two parts, with Part 1 to premiere May 16th, and Part 2 to follow June 13th. 
Netflix shared a clip from the season in February that shows Penelope, played by Coughlin, confront Colin, played by Newton. Netflix is give is teasing the new show Parasite the Grey. The streaming service shared a trailer for the sci-fi horror series Tuesday featuring Gion Sony. Parasite the Grey is based on the Japanese manga by Hitoshi Iwaki. South Korean writer and director Young Sang Ho reimagines the manga in the adaptation. John stars as Jeon Zoo In, a woman who is infected by an alien parasite after being hit by a car. Jeon enters a strange coexistence with the monster. The parasite tells Jeon, had we not combined as one, we both would have died. Meanwhile, the parasites infect others in South Korea and beyond. Some embrace the monsters while others vow to combat them. Uh, Kuyo Kwan, Lee Jong Hyung, and Kwan Hae Hyo, and Kim In Kwan also star. Parasite the Grey premieres April 5th. Netflix released a teaser trailer for the show earlier this month. Heartstopper is returning for a third season in October. Netflix announced on an October premiere date for season three on Wednesday alongside a video featuring the cast on set. The teaser shows series star Kit uh, Connor, Joe Locke, William Guile, Yasmin Finney, and Jenny Wasler film scenes from season three, episode eight, which takes place at the Truman Summer Fiat. Connor says this episode eight so Nick and Charlie have, it started to get a little more steamy. Meanwhile, Giles' character, Tile, is, quote, beginning to figure out what he loves to do and what his hobbies are. Giles adds he finds a passion for something that he begins to really love, and he does it to bring joy to people and to cheer up the other characters in the show. Season 3 will also show how uh, more of Wasser's story and how Charlie has been going through has affected her. Wassler says, and she also makes a new friend. Heartstopper is based on the Alex Osman webcomic graphic novel. The series follows the romance between classmates Nick Nelson, played by Connor, and Charlie Spring, played by Locke. In season three, Charlie would like to tell Nick that he loves him, while Nick also has something important to say to Charlie. Heartstopper season two was released in August 2023. Production on season three began that October. Megan Thee Stallion is going on tour in 2024. The 29-year-old rapper announced dates for her Hot Girl Summer Tour on Wednesday. The new tour will see Megan Thee Stallion perform across North America and Europe. Gorilla will join as a special guest on selected dates. The Hot Girl Summer Tour kicks off May 14th in Minneapolis and concludes July 27th in Washington. Tickets go on sale on Friday at 10 a.m. local time. Megan Thee Stallion wrote on Instagram, Three Hot Girl Summer Tour is here and I'm bringing my girl Gorilla with me. Get ready, hotties. It's about to be a time. Can't wait to see y'all. Megan Thee Stallion has plans for the tour, uh, had announced plans for the tour on Good Morning America in January. Hot Girl Summer shares a name with Megan Thee Stallion's hit 2019 single featuring Nicki Minaj. Megan Thee Stallion's most recently released, Hiss and Cobra, two singles from her forthcoming third studio album. And finally, the Recording Academy has announced the 2024 inductees for the Grammy Hall of Fame. Recordings by Lauryn Hill, Guns N' Roses, Charlie Pride, and Donna Summer will be inducted into the Hall of Fame in May. Buena Vista Social Club, Wanda Jackson, Kit Ory's Creole Orchestra, the Dewey Brothers, and William Bell will also have recordings honored. Recording eligibles for induction exhibit qualitative or historical significance or at least 25 years old. The Grammy Museum will host an inaugural uh, Grammy Hall of Fame gala and concert May 21st at the Noble Theater in Los Angeles. 2024 marks the 50th anniversary of the Grammy Hall of Fame. Recording Academy CEO Harvey Mason Jr. said in the press release, We're proud to unveil the diverse mix of recordings entering the Grammy Hall of Fame in its 50th year. The music showcase here has played a pivotal role in shaping our cultural landscape and it is a true honor to recognize these songs and recordings along with the profound influence each has had on music and beyond. Uh, this year's inductees as follow, De La Soul's Three Feet High and Rising, Guns N' Roses' Appetite for Destruction, Buena Vista Social Club for Buena Vista Social Club, Donna Summer's song, I Feel Love, Charlie Pry's song, 
Kiss and Angel, Good Morning, Wanda Jackson's Let's Have a Party, Lauren Hill's album, The, Miscommunica- the Miseducation of Lauren Hill, Kid Ori Creole's Orchestra, Ori's Creole Trombone, The Dewey Brothers' Classic, What a Fool Believes, and William Bell's song, You Don't Miss Your Water. And as your entertainment report for Wednesday, March 20th, 2024, I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R A Y M E L O on Twitter at the enter report or on Instagram at the entertainment report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the entertainment report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Good night, and God bless you all.